Amy here. Today we have the gorgeous MQuest 4MP Ultra HD indoor Wi-Fi security camera up for an interview. I mean, a review. I'll be covering the setup, the video quality with live footage, the reliability, tips, and more. If you have any questions about this security camera, I'll be more than happy to help. A disclaimer before we continue. It is important for me to be transparent with my viewers. I want to let you know that I did receive this camera for free. I only work with companies that allow me to provide honest feedback, positive or negative. Therefore, I want you to be rest assured that my review will be objective. Prior to this collaboration, I purchased two MQuest security cameras. So I have used and I'm still using the two security cameras that I purchased on my own. The timing wouldn't be perfect as I had been thinking about adding a third camera. I also love the improvements that I see from my first MQuest security camera to this MQuest 4MP security camera. The camera on the left is my first MQuest Wi-Fi security camera. Minus the recent SD card problem, it is still going strong after 4 years. I am using the free cloud storage as a solution to my SD card problem. You have been working hard, thank you. The camera on the right is the latest MQuest Wi-Fi security camera, the one that I am reviewing in this video. Look at it, so cute and definitely has grown bigger. <laughs> Welcome to the family for MP. Appearance and unboxing. This security camera is gorgeous. I don't think my camera is doing it justice. I have noticed that one end of the base doesn't close properly. You can see a gap right here. However, it doesn't affect the camera's function. The other minor cosmetic flaw is the small white dot on the camera. Again, nothing major, and it was probably just this camera. Setting up the camera. One of the features that I look for in a security camera is how easy it is to set up. With Encrest Wi-Fi security cameras, you can set up using any of the multiple methods offered. You can set up using the Wi-Fi method, the IP method, and more. On my iPhone 6S Plus, I even see a function to search device. This is handy if you can't access the camera barcode easily. I personally prefer the IP method as I do assign a fixed IP address to my security cameras so I can view them easily on my computer. This is a review video so I won't be going into details on how to do it. I will link to my video tutorials in the description. Technical issue. While setting up the camera, I did run into a technical issue. Depends on your chosen method and viewing device, you might or might not run into problems. The most user-friendly installation is the Wi-Fi connection method. When I was testing it on my iPhone 6S Plus, I was not able to connect using the Wi-Fi option. On my Android phone, which is OnePlus 7T, the connection was a breeze. If you have trouble connecting to the camera, I highly recommend using the Infinite Cable method. I used the Infinite Cable method for my other MQuest cameras a few years ago. 
If you don't have an infinite cable, no worries. This camera comes with one. I haven't needed to contact the support yet after four years of using my first Mcrest security camera. The person that I have been in contact with seems really nice and helpful. On Mcrest's contacts page, you will find all the information to get the support you need should you run into any problems. In addition, there is an active form where you will be able to get help as well. Now onto the most exciting part, live footage. I'll be covering both the video and audio quality. The following is a direct footage from the security camera. I use the record function on my PC. Let's start with the not so good part. Night vision is not too friendly with Windows. This is the camera watching our backyard at 10.32 p.m. on a Sunday night. It is set in our kitchen. Our kitchen light is on. Night vision is off. As you can see, it is not that useful. With the kitchen light off, it is slightly better, but still not useful. Let's turn on the night vision. Now the kitchen light is off. Night vision is on. It is trying trying really hard. Unfortunately, night vision and windows don't really get along. The solution for this problem would be either to put your security camera outside or have an outside light source. Like so. Now I have the kitchen light off, night vision off, but outdoor light on. <coughs> Excuse our dirty window. It is our kitchen window and I don't remember the last time I cleaned it. This is not just a problem with Mcrest Wi-Fi security cameras. It is a normal problem with cameras that use IR technology and monitors behind the window. At least there is a solution, right? Now for the good news. If you are monitoring a room, then oh my, you are going to love the night vision. Welcome to our kitchen. This is what our kitchen looks like with the light on. I'm very happy with the video quality. This is the direct footage from the camera recorded on my PC. Okay, a quick warning before we continue. Do you get scared easily? If so, please skip this part. I scared myself editing this part. I had to grab a light because I didn't want to trip myself. Now we have the kitchen light off and the night vision off. Kitchen light off, night vision off. Under this condition, you can't see anything unless you are using a flashlight. Okay, now for the night vision. Note, this footage is not from my PC. My computer had a problem and didn't record this part of the testing footage. I got the footage from my phone, so please keep that in mind. The resolution is VGA and not 4MP Ultra HD. The PC quality would have been way better. Regardless, I'm very happy with the night vision. Ta-da! Look at this.
I can see myself. And your eyes sort of blending with the wall and looking more and more like a ghost. <laughs> but hey, that is some pretty good night vision for indoor viewing, right? On to the built-in microphone. This is the direct footage for my phone, again, because my my computer failed. I am walking away from the microphone as I speak. This is a test. I'm about one foot away. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm about two feet away. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm about three or four inch away. I think. Now for the two-way communication feature. The speaker, as in the person who is speaking, is standing about one foot away from the built-in microphone. You can't really see him because he's like right in the corner. This is a direct footage for my phone. This is a test. Count to ten. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. <coughs> now, the same footage, but from the receiver's end. I used an iPhone 6S Plus to record the speaker's end. A speaker as in, um, the person who is speaking. Now? Now? Yeah. This is a test. Now to ten. You have to press the microphone icon to talk. Wait, no, come on. Count from 1 to 10. <laughs> no! Read it! <laughs> Alright, fine. What? Okay, fine. <laughs> Let's see what the building speaker sounds like. I have two testing samples. One was recorded when I was in my room. The other one was recorded when I was in my backyard. This is handy if you need someone to bring you toilet paper or something. <laughs> and you don't want to scream. First test for my room. This is my room. Hello, bear. That's a camera. I mean, my camera camera. And then that's the security camera. It's over there. Testing, testing. This is the testing message. I am in my room, which is about 10 feet away from the microphone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Second test for my backyard. The security camera is over there. Now we are going to go outside. Turn the, oops, turn on the light. Okay, so now we are outside. Testing, testing. This is a testing message. I am in the backyard, which is about... I 
What I love about the camera, quick real-time view. Four years ago, I purchased two security cameras from two different brands. One of them was Amcrust 1080p. The other camera struggled to load the live view. I would need to wait 30 seconds or more to even see the live view. Amcrust, on the other hand, even with the oldest version that I have, loads really fast. Occasionally, I might run into can't connect error message, but a simple refresh or reload will usually fix the problem. It is way more reliable compared to the other camera I tested. Multi-view, handy for capturing multiple angles at the same time. This is one of my favorite features. You can view multiple cameras at the same time using the MQuest app. You can even customize the camera size. On my laptop in the living room, I'm using a 6 grid viewer, but I made the middle two bigger so we can see it easily while dining in the living room. <laughs> My tablet here is using a 4 grid view. It is looking better now that I have a third camera. Note, I am blurring the image for privacy concern. The actual image quality is way better and will be demonstrated in this review video. Viewable on multiple platforms. There are multiple ways to view your live feed. I have used the phone app, the tablet app, M-Crisis surveillance system software on a PC, and the web version. It's really easy to access any of them. Maintenance. The one checkup that I recommend is to either set up an alert for SD card problem if you are using an SD card to store your footage, or do a monthly check to make sure everything is recorded properly if necessary. I didn't notice that my SD card failed until the day we needed it, and that was my mistake. Tip, if you're hanging or mounting your camera, you can tie a knot so that it stays firm. Our fur babies go crazy sometimes, so making a knot helps secure our camera. This camera comes with a mounting bracket as well. For our current setup, we are using the one from 4 years ago, one the screws giving after 4 years. Luckily, we didn't need to work to secure our camera. In addition, utilize the mirror or flip feature. At the time of the recording, I can see the mirror or flip feature on my tablet, my phone, and the MCrust Surveillance Pro software. This will make adjustment way easier. If your camera is in a tricky spot, like the one that I have for my front yard, then be prepared to spend some time till you get the view you want. I had to switch between my phone and my PC to get the exact angle that I wanted because the panning function is just very smooth. Which is good, I suppose. The improvement. I have the previous two versions of this security camera line. The most noticeable improvement is the video quality. The movement in the video is getting better with each version. My oldest camera has a lag of 1 or 2 seconds. Do know that my first camera is 4 years old. I am loving the improvement. As an MQuest user of 4 years, I want to share some of the setups that I have modified to make it suit my needs. 1. Since all my security cameras are looking through a window, I turn off night vision as it doesn't really help. 2. I assigned a fixed IP address to my security cameras so I don't have to scan the camera and or use all the functions to add camera on multiple devices. 3. I turn on the monitoring function to record all the footage. You can customize it from the back end if needed. Conclusion When I look for a security camera, I want it to be easy to set up, hence why I was looking for a Wi-Fi camera. Reliable and offer high video quality without breaking my bank. MQuest Wi-Fi cameras check all the boxes and even offer advanced features that you can utilize if you need further customization and additional notifications. I hope this review has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll be more than happy to help. Thank you so much for watching. Check out other videos that might interest you. I am also on Instagram if you want to connect over there. Have a great day or night. 
See you next time. Bye.